Good morning. Bro. Welcome to today's class. I am Oketa Patrick from Physics Department of Veritas University. Our today's experiment is on Hooke's law. Determination of first constant of a spring. The apparatus needed are a spiral spring, a rotor stand, a metal rule, set of mass, and triple beam balance. I will weigh the mass of the spiral spring using the triple beam balance. Using this triple beam balance, I will record the mass as my E naught. This particular beam uh, spring is weighing. This particular spring is weighing eight grams. So once I know the mass of the spring, I now hang it on the rotor. I hang it on the rotor stand and tighten it. The next I will do is to measure. You see, the spring has a pointer. I measure the length with a pointer, which is giving me 5.5 centimeter. After measuring that height, I will now use my set of mass. I set the set of mass using 100 gram first, hanging it on it. Now, once I've hung it, you remember I have 5.5 as my length without the mass. Now, with the mass hang on it, I allow it to stable. I allow it to stable and I measure the new height, which is giving me 9.5 centimeter. So I will record it as my E. The first one was the first length without a mass was my E naught. The one, the new length with a mass is my E. So I will record it as 9.5 as my E. Then after that, I will take my stopwatch. I will take my stopwatch and take the time for 20 oscillation. Now this oscillation is an up and down oscillation. So starting now. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So I will take it as my T1 and record it on my book. Thereafter, I stop it and take another time for T2. I will take another time for T2. Two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I have my time eleven point eight one seconds. Now the next thing is to add another mass. Each of these mass is hundred grams. So I add another mass, making it two hundred grams. Thereafter, I I, I take my E again now is 17.4 so I have 17.4 I record it against 200 grams There's the, the length there is 17.4 after which I take my stopwatch again and take time for 20 oscillation 1, 2, 3, 4 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So I have 16.25. I have to repeat it again for T2. Then, after repeating it for T2, I will now hang the third mass, which is 300 grams, and take my extension again. So I will take my extensions again, which is giving me 25.4. So I have 25.4. I will now take 
the time for another 20 oscillation, add the fourth mass, which is 400, add the fifth mass, which is 500, and repeat the time for oscillation. After that, I will now come to my table. On the table, I have the mass, which is 100, 200, 300, up to 500. I have my E naught, which was the length without anything hung on it. Then my E1, according to the mass. Then I will now have E. E is E1 minus E naught. We give me my E. Then I have the time for T1, T2. I find the T average. Then from the T average, I now find my period and also the square of my period. And there are other questions attached to it, like plotting the graph of the extension against mass, then determine the slope of the graph and the intercept on the E axis and determination of the extension when the mass was changed from 100 to 200 grams, precautions taken, and also calculating the period if we reduce the time for 10 complete oscillations. We also have other things to be calculated from it, like compressed mass and also the force constant using G as 9.8 meter per second squared. Thank you, and that is our today's class.